them kids man yo it's going down in a major way man i got one of the most uh uh livest niggas at all the parties i'm talking about somebody who know how to get the party started and everything he didn't put out one of the most hottest birth control songs of the <laughs> summer i'm talking at all about, about the whole year this guy is aka prophylactic y'all give it up for the one the only you didn't seen him on nappy boy radio party pill yes, let's go sir. yes sir <laughs> You gotta, gotta clap yourself around this motherfucker, ain't you? Come on, man. What's going on, my boy? Hey, dog, dog, if you can't clap for yourself, who can you clap for? I mean, come on, now. When the last time you gave it up for yourself? Uh, Right now. That, that, you, just made me, you just made me do it. It makes sense, right? Yeah, and it makes me feel good, too. Man, hey, man, listen, man, dog, I, I told you from the, from the get grain, I like, you own something. And we've been talking about it offset and yep. everything when the cameras was off. This song right here. It says it all it for do. them kids. It do, it do, man. And, and you know what? When I started to try to get this thing out or even say it, people was just looking at me like, come on, man, you can't you can't do that. But I'm like, you, you're you not listening to the words of the song. You mm-hmm. only focusing on fuck them kids. Mm-hmm. But when you listen to the words, you're going to be like, oh, shit, I just happened to me the other day. Mm-hmm. And, and 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 it's just, I think it's, I think it's the anthem. And once everybody really pick up on it and hear it, they're gonna be like, you know what? He he did do it. He he did he did it first. Hey, so let me let's talk about that right there. What you just said, mm-hmm. the people that were saying to you, like, come on, bro, like, wh- who are these? Who are the, these people? And what type of people are they? And what was that moment? Because it sounds like some shit where you were, if you with your homeboy, he in front of his girl, and they got kids and shit. Like, Pip, you know what? I can't do this with you right now in mm-hmm. front of her. Or if you in front of her, you you in front of that girl you talking to and whatnot, she like, come on, bro. Like, listen, I, I I support everything you do, but I got kids and I be doing that shit to niggas too. You said you exactly exactly what you said verbatim. Go in a room, and the same people that said it was the one with the kids, the one uh, you know, you know, the we love the kids, mm-hmm. not, 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 not fuck them kids. You know, when shit happened with kids, you know, Obviously, this is probably not the right time to be playing the song because they're going to just say, you know, fuck them kids. Come on, man. You can't say fuck them kids. But listen to the damn words, man. Mm -hmm. And then they want to say it to people that are just parents. It's not just for the people that's parents. Mm -hmm. It's mostly for the people that ain't parents. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get some ass, man. And your goddamn kid running around here. You know what I'm saying? Fucking kicking shit over. And you you can't. We can't do nothing because you over here trying to change a diaper. Your baby daddy ain't shit. Bro. It, it, you know, you know, you know what's funny. Like, I, I, I'm, uh, you probably not gonna believe this, but I, I just turned forty one. You lying? Yeah. Dang. I know. I know. I, I know. You like yo. This nigga. You look. I look every bit of eighteen, right? <laughs> I yeah. was gonna go seventeen. You gonna go to seventeen? Yeah. 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 Man. Yeah. No, I'm legal. Okay. Um. You know, I, I, I always tended to stay away from. Like chicks with with children, I, 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 I you know I first I think they are everywhere. They are everywhere. I dated a chick when I was nineteen that had a, like a five year old. Well, okay, I was just trying to do the math. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This was when I was nineteen for real. Yeah, I, I, I dated, but um, yeah, her whole life was about this boy. And, <laughs> I mean, it is her kid. Though. Yeah, it's her kid. <laughs> and you know. <laughs> It's a lot of women in the world and everything, but you you can't help who gonna give you pussy first. I will, you thought I was gonna say who you, who you fall in love I with? Was, I, I was. I was. You, no, no, it's not who you fall. Okay. You can't help who gonna give you some pussy the fastest, and it's usually the girls with the kids. It's usually the girl, but you, it takes so long to get it. It though. takes so you gotta have patience. Because when you have patience with girls with kids, you have to have patience with their baby daddy. You gotta have patience with their mother, whoever is helping them out with the kids. So it's a group effort to help you get the pussy. And, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, kids are some of the, the most biggest cock-blocking oh motherfuckers in the world. Where and, they come from? Bruh. They've been from, here before. It come from somebody that was trying to to, 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 to trap a nigga. I feel it. Because women always come with this bullshit-ass excuse. Oh, my God. That, I don't, I don't, well, I, I don't believe in, 
you know, abortions and everything, because who God might bless, might not bless me with this opportunity again? Yes, he will. He yeah, definitely will. It's yes, he be will. Plenty of niggas gonna gonna come up up him in that thing. Come on, he's a plenty of niggas. Love of none of you. God, and they gonna run away too after they did. Believe in your eggs, bitch. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? Yeah, yeah you better use them, motherfuckers. The fuck is wrong with or you, sell man? Them. Yeah. You you do you know how women don't understand how many blessings they blocking by having a baby That's that a nigga don't want. Especially especially when you single and you just out there trying to trying to get it. Like I had high school friends and now that I look back at it, do it, do it. Come on, it's uh, hitting you now. See, come well, on, see that's gonna be bad if they see. Say that. it, say it, bro. See, some of them had kids, right? But in when, high school, but, but, and, yeah. Man, come on, man. You know some. You know some of them had kids. A couple of them. I, it, it was only one girl in my special ed class. She was pregnant. Who got her pregnant? Yeah, I, 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 I don't know, man. I was in the ninth grade, and I, I ain't never seen ninth a pregnant grade. bitch. Yeah, I never seen a pregnant bitch before in my life. And when you see one that's like around your age, pregnant, you be like, God damn, God. This, this bitch retarded for real. Yes. <laughs> What are he you was, doing in he here? Was, he was, we we he was, 14. You about to go ahead and go go through with it. You know this nigga that's, that's, can't goddamn take care of this baby at the Taco Bell job. I don't, I don't believe it. You know this nigga it. at Popeye's can't take care of this baby. I don't believe it. What is the problem, man? What man, are you really going through right now I'm with all this old lean on me ass shit? Was you fucking back then? Yeah, man, I mean, I've been fucking since I was 12. Y'all niggas be lying, man. No, nigga. Who giving y'all niggas pussy? Now, bro, let me tell you something, bro. I wish you... I, I wish... I could bring the 12-year-old uh, me here so you could smell his dick. I was doing my thing. I was doing my thing at the time, and I was very advanced. It took me a minute to actually get it right, though. Because one thing about when you first, like, trying to figure out women and everything, because, you, 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 of course, you all right. Niggas do be lying. Yeah. It started off with fingering. <laughs> I thought I was doing the wrong hole. That's nice, because... I was fingering that's, the wrong. That's, I got a lot of doo doo on my hands. That's that's all. Awesome. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> hold on, t- time out. This is pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was confusing. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's com because I, I thought the pussy was the wrong hole because it was so wet and gross. You know when you young. Wait, I'm trying to figure this out, Jack. You yeah. confusing me. This pussy is that wet. It was wet. It was see. That's why it was see? sticky. And do you see? It was like 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 a fucking glue. You, you ever used to have the like you you ever uh like back in the day when you were younger you you used to put glue on your hand and do this shit right here. Yep. And then do this shit. Uh huh. And then all the little shit we be sticky. Yeah, you peel it that's up, how man. I was. I thought it was disgusting as fuck. And then we're like, oh my god, what is on? <laughs> my, I got gack on my hand. Remember they used to sell gack yeah. and slime and Nickelodeon and, <laughs> yeah. and them toys like that. You thought she was tricking. I thought it was yo. What is wrong with this bitch? <laughs> I, I thought I thought I boo booed on myself. I was, I was so stinking. You used to go on, back home smelling like shit. Yeah, because I what the deal is, this is this is this is how nasty I was and I wanted people to know I was doing something. <laughs> I left it on my hand. Took, and took, I was one of them kids too that I ate I ate a lot of corn dogs. Oh God. So you know you eat all you eat a lot of finger foods and stuff when you're younger. You know, from fruit roll ups and all that. Jack, Jack, Had it smelling crazy. And I was, I was, I was so quick. I was so quick, and I was so happy to let a nigga smell my hand. So you smelling like corn dogs and shit? Corn dogs, like whoa! <laughs> I had niggas like this all day. Trying to figure out what the fuck you what were doing, that? digging in your own ass. That's what, what they what is going that? on. Yes, you could have just told me it was musty or something, bro, bro. Bro, hold on. So time out. So I'm the, I'm the only one in like sixth grade, seventh grade will get. You know, you weren't, this not your story? No, not at all. You was not having sex. I was you? not. I wish I was. When did you find the right hole? I, 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 I started. <laughs> I started, I, I started I, hey, yo, T-Rex. I started being privy to the right hole when I was like 14, 15. And, and, and at the time, I was hanging around. Uh, I was freshly dropped out of school, out of high school. And I would hang out at Georgia State every day, then uh, uh, looking for hoes and shit, talking to hoes, <laughs> meeting, meeting hoes on the chat line. It was some shit in Atlanta called a chat line, and so I would meet girls at Georgia State and all that other stuff and whatnot, and the students and shit. And I would go to classes and all that as if I was actually enrolled. Because they couldn't tell. They couldn't tell. Because yeah. I always had a grown ass face. <laughs> 
and a grown body, like a like a little boy grown body. You ever seen them little grown boy bodies? Yeah, I know. Midget Mac. Yeah, yeah, like Midget Mac. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I was one of them. Hey, I, it's funny that you even bring that up. I remember I, I, was, I was fucking in one girl. Or I was like 15 at the time. She was 17. We was inside her dorm room on her little twin bed. <laughs> and um, and uh, the, uh, uh, the, the, the uh, 112 video came on, the one with Lil Zane in there. Mm-hmm. We can make anywhere. Mm-hmm. And then she was like, Lil Zane so fine and whatnot. Damn, man. I, I could, but I could never fuck him because he's 15. And I'm thinking to myself, bitch, you just fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Winner. I mean, the life of a celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Hey, hey, and, and, and what was wild? Hey, I did everything that I seen on TV to to uh, girls. Like at the time, I had this girl eat my booty. I'm gonna tell you why I let her oh, eat so my you booty. You was at it at an early age. Oh yes, when I when I was 15, because I'm about it was out. You ain't from Florida, are you? No, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm from Decatur. I'm Florida niggas like eating. Booty. No, no, I'm, anyway. I'm from I'm from Decatur. I, so I was watching I'm about it, and it's this part. Where uh, I think it was Fiend that was on there. He was saying, "Man, the girl got down. We eat my ass so goddamn good, man. She had her face so far out. I had a fart that I blew half her damn face <laughs> off." And I was like, yeah, "I didn't get her eat my ass." And ever since I seen that movie, I never stopped getting my ass. Ate. How do you get somebody to eat your ass? I, I said, can't hey, even have you... the conversation with. Yeah, I, I was like, "Hey, we eat my ass." That's, I was like that, and I would eat. That, I would eat their ass straight out, straight out, the, straight out the box. Damn, straight out the box. <laughs> Straight out the fucking box, I would eat, eat some ass and whatnot. And even if it smelled a little crazy, <laughs> I was still down there. Thought I, I thought that's what it do. I thought that's yeah. what it do yeah, until you get true. older, and then you had that girl to tell you, "Hey, go take a shower." <laughs> go, you smell like shit around here. Yeah, you one of them dudes. Yeah, oh, playing the dirt again, ass nigga. Booty ass. A nigga. girl, had, girl had to put me on the baby wipes. I've been using baby wipes ever since I was uh, <laughs> fifteen and a half now. Wiping your own ass. Wiping my own ass, proud real you, good. Man. I'm so proud of you. Put a little, put a little, little finger in there. <laughs> you got, you got to put a little finger. Yeah, you do. You, you don't. Yes, you do. You don't though. Yes, you do. You got to make sure you're right, bro. Hey, bro. Are you, gonna, are you gonna? <laughs> you gonna if, smell if you, it? No, no. I, I did. I did it like for the first couple of times, but not as a, as a grown man though. Not as a grown man. Now you know. Yeah. Not now. No, I don't do that shit no more. I'm, I'm over it now. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure I'm clean so and a, I don't get caught it was, slipping. It was a fad. It was a, it was a fad. I want to make sure because you doubt when you got when you tell when you have somebody tell you you smell like doo doo. <laughs> that's all. Yeah. It, it, that's, that, come on. That's, you ain't never you ain't never had a girl like you know what I'm saying eating you out. I'm, I'm well, going down on you or something like that. And she was like, "Hey, you, you smell funny." I think once, but it's because I put some tea tree oil down there and it was. Real strong. So what so you, you put know, a teacher oil down there for? So, so that's, that's got, it's, I just got, I got like, I had a rash. So I kind of trying to get that thing. I, I know, I, I know about that. Okay. I know about that. Yeah. I was trying hey, to bro, that. I used to stay getting burnt. <laughs> First of all, I didn't say burnt. That's I didn't say that about. at all. I said rash. It's the difference. Rash and burnt. Where you get the rash from? I don't remember that. Yeah, you probably got burnt and you ain't know it. I mean, what that was. Probably should have went to the doctor and fixed that. And yeah, tried yeah. To put some damn teaching. I stayed at the doctor, bro. <laughs> I stayed. And see, and you got to remember too. This back in Atlanta, like this old Atlanta. Yeah, you was nasty. Yeah, this old this 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 was AIDS Atlanta. Like so, every time I caught some, I thought, like, oh every shit, time. I got AIDS. Every time, I, every time I caught when I, I remember I got caught, got crabs one time. I like, thought it was AIDS. Crabs? I thought AIDS, crabs was AIDS, man. Them up. I had some real red, red lobsters on. I had a fucking sea for the seafood lover in I'm, me. I'm learning a lot about you, Jack. I, I was I, a I nasty was little really, boy, man. Yeah, I'm noticing that. I'm yeah, I was noticing that. I was disgusting. I had lobsters. <laughs> I didn't know you can get rid of that. No, no, uh, they they are blue star ointment. It burns like hell. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about to the point where you would want to rip your own dick off Lee, and throw it away. My stomach hurts. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It but I, eight. but I'm I'm clean now. Okay, good. That's that's, see, that's all that matters. Yeah, you, when you get older and you start loving yourself and you start realizing, you start seeing. What all it took for me was was a nigga at school to die. <laughs> <laughs> all it took was one nigga that that's your age to die from some bullshit. 
And you like, you know what? I'm going to put two condoms I'm on. Do- <laughs> I might start washing my dick after yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. I, man, I almost washed my dick off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was that crazy back then. Yeah, you as a fool. Fuck them kids. That's what basically what I'm trying to say in a nutshell. That's, that's. In a nutshell. That's all I'm saying is. I only had just, one kid scare in my life. Really? And yep. I was, and it, it turned out to be a lie. The girl was pregnant, but it wasn't mine. Oh, so she was outside too? Oh, she was super outside. She was super, because she, she tricked me into getting outside. Where are you finding these women at? Um, I found her at a gospel play. <laughs> I went to a gospel play. I think, I want to say it was some Medea shit. And um, yeah, yeah, she had a, caught, caught me slipping. And I, I, she was older than me. Like, keep in mind, I, I dropped out of school. So all I'm dating is older women. Because uh, cause everybody I work around are older. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If, I'm, if I got a job. So everybody. I'm, so if I'm so you fucking all the employees. Yeah, I'm fucking a lot of employees. So this one girl, I, I met her. Um, I was 19. She was like 24, 25. And um, uh, uh, she, she was, when we would get intimate, she was, she was like, yo, I, I don't want to don't waste my uh, IUD. Was she, was it, what do you call it? IUD? Is it IUD? Uh, you don't ask me. It was, it was, hey, Robin. That's it. That's it? Okay, cool. Yeah. It's an IUD. What it is, it's a birth control thing. They shoot it up in the girl. Oh. And they keep you from getting pregnant for like eight years. But this bitch was lying. She didn't have no IUD. But she was telling me that because she just didn't want me to put no, she didn't like condoms. But I'm just saying that the only thing that you can that people can do is you know the easiest thing if you're not gonna wear condoms is to go to, in the booty hole. What? Sure, pull out. That's not, oh, that's not what you were gonna say. No, it's not. It's not. I'm I'm kind of off the booty. Gotcha. I'm gonna let you talk. Go ahead. I've been I've been kind of off the booty. Is pull out. Like you saying, fuck them kids. Just fuck them kids on their shirt or on the bed or on their stomach hey, or on their face or something. I wasn't, like, I wasn't cool with that. You know why? Why not? Why do y'all want to stay it, inside and then put your shit in them? No, no. I, I had pulled out of that, but I ain't trust pulling out. You, Cause I would, I had a lot of, I was, I was <laughs> like a brother, like a real hardcore pre-comer. <laughs> like I, I put the dick in and oozing. This shit just oozing everywhere. I like this shit got to be a baby. Is this a, is this, this a, is a is, baby? Is this a joke? Somebody trying to trick me. No, I'm dead ass here. Yeah, that shit real, bro. Yeah, my my shit was running, bro. So what my problem is then? My shit must not work. Man, don't, hey, don't you got... <laughs> it, it, it got to be the teacher oil. Killed De- me. Definitely the teacher oil. Shit. Because I don't got no kids to this day. Really? Nah. You want any? At this particular... I'm 41 now. Yeah. I, I, I think... It, I, don't, I don't think it's a good idea. I think I'm cool on that now. I don't think I got the patience for it. Um, every now and then I'll date a girl with a, uh, with a kid and shit and blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And it's cool, but uh, I only date women with kids with a daddy in the life. Oh, so you ain't got to deal with them at least? Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I, you ain't trying I'm, to be I'm not a step dad type of guy. And if, if I could meet a girl that do got kids and shit that don't, that don't, 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 um, that got enough respect for me not to introduce me to her kids, that's a keeper. Oh, so you don't even want to meet the kid? No. Damn. No, I'm cool on that. That's fucked up, man. It's not necessary. It is, that is. That's all type of ways you can use that. You know that? Yeah. You just, you I, hold on. Am I, I'm, am I really fucked up for that? I mean, or, no, I'm just have saying, I earned like, what, that? Or have I earned that? You, you, how, how are you going to talk to a, a young lady yes. <laughs> that got a kid, she lived with the kid, and you never meet this kid? She come over my she, house. She said... <laughs> I mean, she come on my house. These women are sensitive, though. Like they they care about stuff we don't give a fuck about. That, that I, I understand. And that. That's one why. of them that they give a fuck about is I'm ready for you to be a little junior. You, see, you know what? See, but you got to put that out there, like off the rip. So you got to understand, yo, Pip, you 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 party Pip from fucking uh, Nappy Boy Radio. You a celebrity now. And I'm a liar too. Yeah, and you a fucking liar. That's your problem right there. <laughs> You over here, you like, going with the flow, saying what you got to say to get this pussy. Wrong thing to do. Wrong. I, le- I think Wrong. I, I learned that. I learned it. Wrong. Don't. No, you got to set standards and boundaries. And you got to be cool with uh, missing out on some pussy. I'm, I done missed out on a lot of pussy. You got to. You gotta I wasn't my, cool with it, though. Nah, you, you got to get cool with it. You know what I always tell myself when I miss out on pussy? Mm-hmm. She probably had AIDS anyway. I ain't know that. <laughs> 
definitely got to blame that always made me feel trash bad. anyway. It always made me feel better. Like, yeah, she would have fucked my life up. You yeah. got to you got to put it on her. And you know what I'm saying? Don't take up like just make up an excuse in your mind or why she's not good enough for you. You know what Ryan told me last week? What? He was like, I, can, I wish I could take my fuck back. And, and I said that I said that to say, damn, I should goddamn be more more um, frugal with my fucks. So off the rip, if I feel, see something that's like a little bit off balance and everything with a chick, I shouldn't give a fuck. Right. Literally. Right. Let that let that go. Yeah, let too, that go, bro. Be too, too many times man. we compromise ourselves, and compromises turn into kids. Mm. You see what I just did? Fuck them kids. Fuck them if kids. you really gonna live that shit, you know what I'm saying? You gonna have to start protecting yourself, yeah. respecting your dick. You know now that I start being a, a man with standards and stuff. Whenever I take my dick out, my dick always look at me and say, "Man, I appreciate that." Bro. <laughs> that hole open right up, man. Yeah. Thank you. It's not in the ass, is it? Say it again? Not in the ass, is it? All the time. All the time. We're That's a prerequisite to, for me. We're going to work on you, Jack. See, see, that, see y'all I, get, I, I like that. Y'all getting into like a whole doing. new thing now. That, let me tell you, man. Pregnant pussy is good. It's, it's, it's amazing. If you go to the hospital, and what they call it, the OBGYN, mm-hmm. if you go over there, it's a lot of women out there that need help with their mon- mon- Lamazas classes. And all of you could be that that help. They take hands. volunteers. What a, man? They can't get. You know how many niggas ain't showing up for these motherfuckers? Damn. This is people that need your help for breathing and support. Send me the address. Yay, yeah, hey, Grady Hospital. Have you ever gone to like uh, one of those? It's, it's like uh, sex anonymous or info. Just show up in some paperwork. No. Yeah, that, just be an agitator. They have a place like this. Yes. yes. They have therapy for everything. Yes, so everything. Yep. And y'all yep. got the address to this place? Push the button. Push the button. It's a lot of lonely people out there waiting on you, bro. No well, strings I, attached. I, you know, I, I could have probably did it back in my day, but I don't think I could do it now. I think my um, What are you trying to say right now? What are you trying to tell I, us? I, 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 what are you I, trying I, to say? I got a baby on the way. <laughs> you got a baby on the way. Hold on, time out, time out. I'm trying, I'm trying so to. Mr. Fuck them kids. I'm trying, man. I'm trying Mr. to. Mr. Fuck them kids got a kid? That's. It was after. Congratulations, motherfucker. So she got, so, so she got to ride this out. You know what I'm saying? Like, she might fuck around and hear this shit and say, oh, hell no. Is that my daddy? I mean, you, you, once again, you got to be honest. I, you and know then, what? I got a, I got a hard. I just, you you got to be honest with your kids too, man. And you got to tell them like if they were a mistake or not. You got to tell them like I I wasn't really fucking with your mama like that. <laughs> I'm still fucking with her. Yeah. Oh, you still you you like her? Yeah, I like her. You what? Huh? You what? You said what? Come again. Say what? You I, what? You like her mom? Who? That girl that's just pregnant. What girl? The lady that you with? I don't know what you're talking about, my boy. Hey hey hey! Yo yo yo! Pill. Is you in love? Is you in love, Pip? You sh- What's going on right Jack, now, bro? Really? You in love, my like, boy? Let's not do this right now. It's, you it's trying to start a family? And, it's, 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 it's not even a show like that. You, like, you're trying to live happily ever after, Pip? Jack. She already told me she don't want to marry me, so. She doing I, you a favor. I mean, hey, bro, I'm, not, I'm not talking about it, though, boy. I'm about it, so I'm not, I'm not tripping, you know. But let me ask you this question: Why? Why did you want to get married in the first place? I was, I was. You know what, Jack? That's funny that you say that. Sometimes I, I think to myself that I'm, I'm not as handsome as some of these other guys. You're right? gorgeous. You're gorgeous. So, no homo. Thank you. Um. So I just felt like I found somebody that liked me a lot, and. I wanted to. I wanted to hold on to it. That that didn't work. Just as simple as that, huh? Yeah. Twenty minutes later, she liked you a lot. What what made you feel like she liked you a lot? Um, 
just different stuff that I've never been through before. Like, like? you know, girl stuff, girl stuff that they do when you, you know what I'm saying? Cook for you and clean in without having to tell them to do some shit. Uh, you Everybody know what I'm do that, Pip. I'm just saying, like, like I live by myself, so for uh, somebody to uh, come over too, and, too, and, and, and clean up, I'm just saying, for yeah. somebody to come and clean up and do your shit for you, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got to tell them to do shit, it ain't because you're giving them a good dick. It's just because they like, you need this. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Pimp, she was being nice to you. That's, that's I mean, what she you, told me that, nice that, stuff That's called being her. a human being. Is that you, what that you, is? Yeah, you got to raise your standards a little bit, Pimp. You, what you have a white is, girl then it's, it's a feminine woman you know, the woman that you with right now she's feminine and she got good home training she's been raised right what's going on is Pip you come from the nightlife you yeah. party Pip so you're used to a lot of ratchet women and Definitely. you know people that are just from uh, 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 they, they come with that that mentality that I'm not going to submit to a man because that's like slavery yeah. and slavery is cooking Slavery is doing everything that my grandmother and my mom did because mm -hmm. they were they were taught wrong and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And your, 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 their mom or their grandmother would probably say, "Hey, make sure you put your money to the side and you you get somebody just in case shit don't work right." And blah blah blah. Because they didn't really want to be in that situation, but at the same time, they got a man for the rest of their life. That's true. They had a man for the rest of their life. I, I, a you, lot you, of women that are now, right it. now, they don't have men. Cause they stopped doing those little things that you love so much that that, that made you complete, mm -hmm. like cleaning up, like cooking, like being cooperative. Being cooperative, that's a that's a big one, man. That's come on, bro. Women don't like listening for shit. But no, the women you like don't like listening that's for true. shit. That's that's true. See, sometimes people, we what we got to do is as grown men is just change our types up. I don't know how to do that. I, I wake up too late, and the only thing I can go to is the fucking club. Pip, pip. You know what? What, you know, what? what they say open after dark? Legs. And? I don't know the other one. Hospitals. Go uh, meet some nurses. So just go meet get some in an nurses, accident man. or something, or just pull up? Say it again? Just get in an accident or pull up? Just pull up. Go in there. Tell them about your rash. Tell them about your rash, bro. You think oh, you? Yeah. They they're gonna the be company. at work though. They're gonna they're gonna look at me like, nigga, what is you doing here? Hey, I came here to meet you. It's the good. universe that's, brought me here. That's actually a pretty good answer right there. You're pretty smart, Jack. Come on, bro. I don't get enough credit for this. You need a book. Hey, hey, Pip. I promise you, and I, this is all bullshit aside. This is the second time I've gotten that today, and that the first time. Was about like around, I want to say, eight a.m. I helped my man uh, 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 find the, the love of his life. Really, his fan, his, yeah, his fantasy is now his reality. Today, Th today, well, actually, it was yesterday. He likes this girl. She on TV. She hosts this show and whatnot and blah blah blah. She she has a kid. Oh shit! Yeah, and he was like, you know, the, the kid, the the, the 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 lady enrolled the kid into his class and he was mm -hmm. teaching the, the kid how to the, uh, the kid acting he's an acting coach mm -hmm. but he, he's infatuated with the mom so it's like yo man put yourself out there tell her how you feel that's rough though jack you no it's not tell a nigga to be, hey, go put your feelings on the table for this fine tv star one people. one or two things is going to happen pip i don't like no you ready no she's either going to say yes to you and you live happily ever after, or she's going to say no and let you off the hook and you can go ahead and move on and change your mind and get your focus back over into another place where it need to be. And he, he, he bet on himself. And he ended up spending the night last night. Oh, shit. And uh, yeah, he got, he didn't find the love of his life. She was just into it because he put himself out there. That's, that's hard though, man. No, it's not. That's you just put yourself out there all the time. For anybody, you like, I hear that all the time. I hear guys, dudes, man, I'm just going to go shoot my shot. And I hate when they shoot their shot and they win. I'm not a hater or nothing like that, sorry. I'm just saying. Pip. You know what I'm saying? Pip. Like, Pip, I understand exactly where you're going. You got to get out of your comfort zone. And your comfort zone is at chick with chicks at the club. That's a certain type yeah. of woman. Yes. But the chick that you actually really want, 
she don't be at them places that you be at all the time. That's right. She don't. But you don't think that you deserve her. You have what they call uh, imposter syndrome. <laughs> you don't think that you him. When I really am. And you really are him. It's a free I watch class. you on, your, on that show all the time, the podcast, with you, T-Pain, and Vanessa all the time. And you show up every episode as him. You missed the goddamn. God damn. But don't just be that when the camera go off. You got to be that 24 hours a day, Pip. Yeah, you right. And then you when you do you that, give, you, you can give really me say, fuck them kids. I can't and mean it. it. Damn. And mean it. And you don't ever have to be in a position where you have to whisper and tell me, yeah, better have a baby. Because you know what it sounds like, Pip? You didn't want to have that baby. You wanted to say, fuck that kid. I did. Until I said, I'm going to get one more year older and then my shit probably ain't going to work. Hey, Pip. It's funny that you should say that. (laughs) I endorse a product. It's called Blue Chew. Really? Yes. I see that shit all the time. Does it work, Jack? It got my dick harder than Suge Knight. You lying. After a Mike Tyson fight in Las Vegas. Before Tupac got shot. Really? And it's not Cialis and they just called it Blue Chew. And it's not Viagra. It has the same active ingredients as Blue Chew and Viagra. But? But it's organic with all natural uh, uh, ingredients. And it keeps your man standing at attention at the drop of a dime. Really? All you got to do is think about say, you know what? I want to have sex with her. And that shit just jump right up. And it stay hard. You hear, you see the blood that's beating in that motherfucker oh, like man. it's a heartbeat in the mushroom. That's cool, thank you. I appreciate that. Heartbeat in the mushroom, bro. You ever Ooh. seen your you ever seen your mushroom throb like this in the top? That's what's going on when you put that blue chew on. Damn. I, I'm telling you, hey, look, I, I didn't just try it on a girl first. You know who I tried it on? Me. What? Me. So you just tried it and then just I went jumped at off it. with it. <laughs> went to sleep hard. Woke up hard. <laughs> Shouts out to it Blue really Chew. works. Come on, man. Come on. Because that Viagra shit is the worst. No, and, and then just keep your heart right, uh, your, 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 your heart rate straight yeah, and that, all that. Yeah, that, that shit made me feel like I was about to die. Only, only thing, I had a little blurry vision, but that's about it. It, you, it was coming back or it was a little. Mm, Where you at? Huh? Where you at? Where you at? Right. Shouts out to them. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Where are you? Definitely over here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. basically what I'm trying to say is they got stuff for that. There's no really an excuse for not doing something that you don't want to do. You did. I feel you. You know, uh, you know she say that she ain't going to marry you. But at the same time, I went one thing, and this is from somebody that's been married before. Really? Yeah, I, I was married for, for a hot six months. <laughs> What you went to Vegas? No, I just went to the courthouse, <laughs> and uh, you know, shit. It got married on Valentine's Day. It got divorced on uh, Halloween. Nice. Got a trick and a treat. Yeah. Where is she at now? I have no idea where this hoe at. Uh, <laughs> I don't care. Either. I don't. I, I. I don't give a fuck what she. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's, yes. That's I, I. When I tell you I didn't look back. I didn't. I bet you didn't. I. I. I, I, I ran for my life. But because, you know, it's overrated. But what I tell we'll tell you is it's like just getting in trouble, mm-hmm. getting in trouble. And one thing about trouble, people, I know you don't heard this. It's easy to get in trouble. Mm, it's hard, it's hard as hell to get out. You know it's how much it costs me to get out of trouble? Twenty five hundred. Well, Twenty five hundred ain't bad. <laughs> Twenty five hundred ain't good. It ain't. It ain't because it's something you got to spend to get yeah, out of but, something. Yeah. That she, you don't even want to be in. The bitch really. didn't go half on it with me. <laughs> But she she really wanted to do the shit. I was like, well, bitch, where your goddamn where your money at? One thousand five twenty five hundred. Didn't come up with nothing. Didn't come up with nothing. I had to go get the whole thing she, to get rid of she this. She wanted bitch. kids, didn't she? I don't know what she wanted. She she she. But she didn't want. She didn't want us. So what the fuck she do it for? Um, bragging rights. Nice. She she thought we was gonna get on love and hip hop or some bullshit. Nah. Yeah, yeah, and I wasn't, I wasn't like, you know, on that type of time. Yeah. 
You know, what you would have made it though. You got like a, you would have got checked. You would have got checked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now I, 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 I was, I like her for real. Oh. I was, I was with her for real. <laughs> I ain't know, I ain't know we was acting. I had no idea we was acting. Well, you probably ain't see it coming. I never saw it coming. A pun intended. Really? Yeah, yeah. So you know, um, <laughs> I said it to say, bro, <laughs> save your twenty five hundred. <laughs> But I don't know how much your child support gonna be. Oh, see, that's I already. I don't know. Already, I already nipped that in the bud. We ain't doing. We ain't. We ain't, we ain't hitting the child support. Okay. No, we nipped that in the bud. Oh. Now, now it was that was a verbal contract. Now I'm gonna have to get that on paper because yeah, you gotta. Yeah, you got. I don't. I don't know how you are gonna pull this out. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Right. Yeah. yeah, that's a good question. I mean, I'm gonna ask Chat GPT and and have them put it together because uh, that's gonna be the. Yeah, because yeah. I gotta, I gotta get that. You're gonna, together. you're gonna, you're gonna really need to just be up on top of it and whatnot, and and uh, just make an offer she can't really can <laughs> refuse. You know, a file for what they call that joint custody. Joint custody. I don't think we're gonna have a problem though. Yeah, I think we, uh, you, you I should think be cool will. if you if you yeah. act like you still fuck with her. You you should be all right. Yeah, I fuck with her. I fuck and with only, her. only 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 time the shit go wrong when you like, hey, leave me alone. Y'all, you don't want to say that. Yeah, what are you right doing now. here? It's not the time to say that. Yeah, yeah. And I gotta I gotta learn to get up early and not late because that's really going that's really putting a damper in. Like you always outside, but I'm you know I fucking can't change my name right now. It's that's trying right. to like party pip. So y- y'all live together? No. That's gonna be the that's gonna be the other tough thing right there. I offered that too. I ain't gonna lie. I put that on the table. She too. wasn't with it. She wanted to be married. And this was after I said I had wanted to marry. I ain't like literally asked her to marry me. I was just like, see, I was gonna ask you to marry me. And then after that, this happened, and then I had brought up us living together because you know, baby, you know, baby got to be there. And she said, oh well, if I'm gonna live with another nigga. I, I need to be married. I was like, well, dodge that bullet. Hold on. Pip, now, see, now you're confusing me. Now you shouldn't be confused, right, man. Time out, time out, time out. <laughs> Hold on. See, this is what you just made it look like. What? You made it look like you had offered to marry the girl and she didn't want to marry you. Right. She, she does want to marry you if you, she wants to do things in an order. She is- wants, she, she's not wrong for that. And it probably might be your best bet. What's the order? I didn't. I didn't. I, I went to school. I can count. Yeah, yeah. I, I, no, I understand that. You, I'm, but I don't think there's nothing wrong with, you know, you getting control of your situation to the point where you actually. Hold on, time out. I might be. I might be saying the wrong shit to you. <laughs> I might be saying the wrong shit to you. Do you fuck with her like that? Yeah, I do. You do? I do. You You want to marry the girl? I don't. I, I I think marriage is just paper. I don't think. No, nah, it, it, it's it's not, it's not only a, it's on, not only paper. It's something. It's a it's a piece of paper that says it's a commitment to say, hey, I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do this in front of everybody. I fuck with you, and this serious right here, and whatnot. And I ain't gonna. I'm I'm not gonna goddamn leave you fucked up. Cause, Cause costs, I fuck with you that much. It costs just to even do that. Man, it cost thirty five dollars pill. I'm not the way that she want to do it. She want to do it the traditional way, which is oh, she want to invite people and all that. Invite people. You want to have this big glamorous wedding? Cost thirty five thousand dollars. Thirty five thousand, yeah. or or three hundred fifty thousand, whichever one is one of them two. It's gonna cost me a whole bunch of money, and then I got to deal with you arguing with you every day. We get married. I got to pay all this money. Shut the fuck up. Don't say shit. You're not even allowed to talk. Do you know what these women want these days, Jack? What you did, know, no, what, Jack, no, first of all, what, did, what do they want? Jack, when a woman is pregnant, they got these things called a baby moon. Uh, 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 what's the other one? Uh, um, a push present. So you, she want me to, you go on a baby moon before you had a baby. So we got to take this glamorous trip. Hold on. Hold on, Jack. I ain't a baby done. moon is like a honeymoon, but it's for a baby. Yes. <laughs> so I'm trying to tell you. First of all, I skipped a whole bunch of shit first. I, I thought that shit was some astrology shit. Oh, man, they crazy. I'm telling you. Look, gender reveal, baby shower, which is cool. But we don't, want, we don't have to do, we don't have to be involved in that for real. That's for us to get the little nice gifts people want to give us because they congratulating you and all that. That's two things right there. Then you got the baby moon. You got to go on a trip. 
Then you got the push present. So after she had a baby to push the baby out, you got to get another present. And then guess what? Mother's Day might be right around the corner. And then it might be her birthday. And then Christmas. Then Valentine's Day. God damn. And then I got to bring you flowers every day or something to be like, I care about you and shit. This shit get expensive. I don't want to do that shit every day. Hey, Pip, I don't like this. That's what I'm saying. That shit crazy, man. Hey, Pip, you might come out better just paying child support. That's right? I might. You might be right. I'm going to go sit When you sit really think about it, when you really think about it, at the end of the day from like, you know, 1 to 18. That's a lot. Is 250,000? It's 350. 350. Yeah. Okay. With all that shit you talking about. That's what I'm saying. If you do the 35,000 for the wedding, you do 5,000 for the baby moon, 5,000 for the honeymoon, all the different changes the baby's going to go through as far as, you know, clothes, clothes uh, getting sick, because you, you could have an unhealthy baby. Now, see, that's a whole other That's thing. a whole other story. You know, you, you know how much wheelchairs cost this day? Um... <laughs> School, School, daycare, yep, day, oh, clothes. And you know, daycare, I just found out. Bruh, I got a homeboy that's paying like um, like 800 a week or something crazy. A week? Yeah, a week. Like 800 a week, something like wild like that. That motherfucker going to public school. Yeah, there, there's, some free. Reg- there's some regular like other broke ass babies in there with him. Oh, man, his baby. That's, 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 that don't make no sense. Yeah, for the 800. That's too much. Inflation is going on right now. Then you got the infamil. Then you got to... They got to eat every two hours when they come out. You know that? Bruh. Who the fuck got time for that? I every, only wake up once in a day. How many times you spend... How much you spend on food a week for you? And how many times you got to eat a day? I got to eat. She got to eat. She got to eat. God damn. Oh, no. And what I'm saying... Jack, this shit crazy. Jack, hey, yo, yo, Pip, you done fucked up. I did. How you gonna pay for all this? Bro, I don't know. I'm trying to take your job right. That's why I'm here. I was interviewing for your shit. Take your spot. Holy shit. Because that shit crazy. This is nuts. Yeah, it is. Got to pay for the place to have a baby shower. Why we just can't have this shit at home? When did we get away from the dad paying for the wedding? Is a dad in the life? Not to be paying for no wedding. He ain't one of them dads. Nope. He don't seem... Like, like, nigga, that's you right there. <laughs> like, y'all, y'all, y'all this you, like, fuck a baby shower. Y'all better have a baby bubble bath. Better have a... <laughs> and, with, and the way my apartment set up, I ain't got no fucking tub. Oh. What a fucking stand-up shower. Wow. Wow. Hey. I'm going to have to figure that out. Literally just seen my homeboy come out the shower. He had to... That's <laughs> how long one of mine. He was doing yeah. it. And the... My mama tried to bathe me in the shower. And you lying. And drop my ass. Shit pop. You know you be real fragile when you a baby. Yeah. Shit pop right out. Yeah. I don't know when to take you serious. Well, don't take me. But yeah, man, that's what happened, man. You know, you just don't come out like this. I know you don't. I'm just saying. I don't Shit happens. That. Shit happens. But you're still here, though. I'm still here. I suffer from a seizure every now and then. But I'm all right. That's okay. You know what I got, man? Which people finally catching on to? Come on. I got narcolepsy. So you just going to fall asleep on shit when shit get hard? I'm going to tell you what happened. Talk to me. I was out in that hallway, out in the, out in the little nice little waiting room y'all got. Okay. Knocked the fuck out. Okay. Woke right up. Ex- whole thousand energy. Ready to go. Okay. You, and you said that to say? I got narcolepsy. That's as simple as that. That's it. Are you, are you, can you get a check for that? They keep trying to stop me, man. They keep trying to stop me. You just need a doctor's note. It don't work like that with mine. Because what they do, you know, when you, got a, when, you got a little, when you got a problem, they try to send you to day doctors. Mm-hmm. Well, unfortunately, they so stupid, they send me to day doctors, but they doctor don't check for narcolepsy. So I'm 100% everything's okay. But give me give me a couple little seconds, and I'm out. Damn, boy! So you got to stay awake at your job. Damn, damn, pimp man! I, I sure hate that for you, man. 
But let's get to the origin of this, man. It so you, you started off, you, 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 you hail from Chicago. Mm-hmm. Born and raised. Okay. Let's just get this out the way now. Okay. I was born in Detroit. All mm-hmm. right. Raised in Chicago. Wow, there's two major cities right here. Yeah. Okay, uh, what, what, what was so hard about that? Everybody always on my ass, because when I say I'm from Chicago, then there's somebody in the back that say, by the way of Detroit. Got you. Are you somebody, not proud of Detroit? Uh, I, I mean, I don't really have nothing to say about Detroit. When somebody say something, they say they from Detroit. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm, I was born in Detroit. Did, oh, man. you literally were just born there, and yeah. you grew up. In Chicago. Chicago, that's what yeah. you're trying to tell me. Yeah, yeah. Got you. I, I okay. I see your disposition now. Yeah, yeah. So, I understand everybody, that. Everybody on my ass about that shit. So yeah, yeah. So well, when did you get to Atlanta? Whoa, wow, that's crazy. Um, I, I was 20. And oh, so you re- grew up in Chicago? Yeah. So, uh, fact or fiction? You you are you are a dancer in Chicago? No. <laughs> Where did that come from? You never were a dancer at all. I can't dance right now. Oh, I thought you you had a group called One Chance and you was a, uh, like a backup dancer for them. <sighs> Definitely wasn't a backup dancer for them. I, okay, so I'm going to tell you the story. I'll give you the story. Okay. So from when I, I was in Chicago, I grew up in Chicago, but I moved back to uh, to Michigan to go to school, go to college. Uh, you went to Michigan dad, State? I wish I did. I went to community college because that's where I get to go for free because my dad was a teacher. So I got to go to school for free. And guess what I went to school for? Uh, a, com- a community. For? <laughs> community? For? College. Yes. And at that place, I wanted to be a police officer. Okay. All right. Went to officer police Pip. academy. Yeah, Officer Pip. Okay. Uh, like, like Ricky. Yeah, that works. Good one. Um and shit, the, the 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 teacher dude came up and he was like, Yo son, he was you're sleeping a lot in my class. So I'm a I'm I'm you should go check out you should go check check this doctor out. I was like, All right, cool. Went to check the doctor out, come to find out, fucking got narcolepsy. Oh, you Sleep really do have the whole time during wow. high school. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yep. So then uh you know, that's a really that, dangerous um, disease to have if you in a gang. It is. Yeah. I ain't going to make it. You going to go do a drive-by, you fall asleep in the car and stay there. Oh, but go ahead. I seen it. You didn't get that one, did you? All right, cool. Um, so then, uh, end up coming to Michigan. <laughs> end, up coming to, uh, end up coming to Atlanta, my bad. Um, because I didn't want to be in Michigan no more because of this girl. Uh, I, I pushed her, and she, I. If, if, now that would have been great, but I pushed her, and she was like, "Oh hell no, nigga, you got me fucked up." And, and I was in love with this girl. She was so bad. She was so fine, Jack. But anyway, so I pushed her. She was like, "Nah, fuck this shit." So I was just there and just crying and acting like a little bitch. And then I was like, "Man, fuck this. I got to get the fuck out of here." Come to find out, my brother living a. I said, bro, I need to come to Atlanta, man. I want to come to Atlanta. He was like, all right, cool, come on. Hold on, what was the pushing story about again? We was arguing, and it so we was arguing. It was a bug on me, and she was like, oh, look at that bug. I said, well, get it off. And she like, no. So I pushed her ass out the way because she was in the fucking way, and I, you know, saying trying to get this fucking bug off me, and she was like, she was Puerto Rican. Oh, hell no, you ain't about to push me, nigga. And got the fuck up out of there, and I was like, "Oh, I done fucked up. I had the baddest, baddest motherfucker of all time in my life, and I just all I did was push this motherfucker, and say, well, that was it, over with. You can't push these hoes now, there now. I'll leave them. I can't touch them. Wow. Okay. So I end up coming to Atlanta, and this was when I don't know if you remember when all those clubs down in Buckhead. You used to, you used to have a little yeah, frequency and all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that's when, and my brother lived right upstairs. So shit, I'm I'm 20. I'm like hell yeah, I'm outside. Finally turned 21, and then that's what really kicked it off for me to be like in the street. But um, I ended up being in Atlanta for a little while, and I ended up getting this job at Blockbuster. 
and I end up being like the manager at Blockbuster. My this homeboy, story just took a real big turn. It is because I'm skipping some shit because my story long. I, I was you know just thinking that I was like, okay. I'm trying to skip some shit. Gotcha. So my homeboy uh, was Usher's barber. And he was like, yo, man, pull up, man. I'm over here, you know what I'm saying, at the crib, chilling. Yo, come over here. I want you to meet some people. I go over there. And they from Chicago. Now, one chance is from Chicago. Mm-hmm. So my barber was from Chicago. He, he was my high school partner. And um, went over there. And she had just chopping it up with them at Usher Crib. And they was just talking like, yeah, man, we need a cameraman. We need a cameraman. And I'm just sitting there like not paying it no attention. I'm not even thinking about the shit. Then I said to myself, I said, shit, I could be a cameraman. I was like, hey, y'all, I got a camera at the crib. They was like, for real? I was like, yeah. It was like, when you about to go on the road? They was like, well, we about to leave tomorrow. I was like, oh, shit, I, I got to go to work, man. I probably can't do that. It was like, all right, cool. Go home. And I was on my way home. I asked my sister. I said, hey, what you, what you think? You think I should, I, should, I should go with them boys? And she was like, do what you want to do. It's up to you. I was like, man, fuck that job. Called them niggas up before they left. I said, hey, man, I'm trying to get on that road with y'all boys. It was like, all right, well, we about to pull the bus over right now. Pulled the bus over on the side of the highway. I jumped on that goddamn tour bus so fast. I ain't got paid yet to this day, but I went on that. I went to that motherfucker. And that's really what started my, my junk career was the group One Chance that was from Chicago. And I seen I seen Fabo, and that you know, he know one chance. That's that was those little boys, and that's what that's what kicked it off. They took me under their wing, and that was that was that's what started it. Come on. Yep. Yep. You played basketball with Usher. <laughs> he played in that boy when she was Atlanta Hawks. <laughs> hey, 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 was he any good? Nah, he was like, he was there. He was there. Nice. Nah, that was the group type shit. They the ones. They could, they, yeah, they could ball. <laughs> <laughs> so Usher was trash. Yeah, you, yeah, you respect Usher like a motherfucker. Yeah, no, no, they yeah, yeah, no, no, I ain't saying he don't got to be good at saying, basketball. You know, just, he Usher. That's all I'm saying. He Usher, I've nigga. I've seen him play. That's he all Usher, I'm trying to tell nigga. you. I've seen him play. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's how you know that you walking in your purpose when a nigga can't even... Can't, won't, won't, can't, he know you got me. <laughs> but I won't tell you. Nah, I was he, just hooping he said, with No, no, he, he, not, he not trash. He, he Usher. <laughs> It, you 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 it's, it's bigger than bigger than the game yeah 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 like you know what man we was playing with usher you niggas was wasn't even guarding him right nah nah nigga was just letting them drive to the whole you know celebrities ain't gonna let you they you 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 kind of feel like i don't let this nigga win man oh, fuck it he paid me so shit i gotta, i fucking let this nigga win because if i beat this nigga ass i'm fired tomorrow for sure hey, i i heard like oh uh, I heard a tale of, of from like maybe five, six, six different people. Like R. Kelly, when you playing basketball with him, Bro, and what I'm gonna tell you, I ain't gonna tell you nothing. It, 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 niggas will beat your ass. Yeah, they gonna definitely would do that because they <laughs> used to hoop with him. They all the all the because they was all from Chicago, so they used to hoop with him too. But he you, you not play. I ain't playing with him. Foul the shit out your ass. Man, leave that nigga wide open. <laughs> Walk away. You gonna pull like a Stephen Curry? You know how Steph shoot and he yeah. just walk away? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not. Just go ahead. You got it. <laughs> Nobody fucks with R. Kelly. No, no don't touch him. Work. No, you get jumped for guarding in there. Yeah, they gonna bring his folk in there now. Yeah, like niggas. Is, I remember fucking with Boa niggas in the head, the straight goony. Yes, like they were blocking they for R. Kelly to get to the hole. They not playing no games. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You want to keep your job? Yeah. All right then. <laughs> Play with them boys. A word, a word, a word. So, um, so, so let me ask you this question. Mm-hmm. What made you cool with going on the road with them for no dough? I don't know. I really don't know. What the fuck was I thinking? I had a job. But let me ask you, okay, because I think I might be asking you the wrong shit. 
what did you have going on back home the way you could just, or what you didn't have going on back home the way you could just get up and just say the next day, I'm finna go get on the bus. I didn't have to pay for nothing. So, so you, so you, you were, you were living rent free, free already. Rent, no, no, no. Well, well, no. So were you, were you staying with your mama? No, my sister. You saying, oh, well, you were staying with your sister. Yeah. She was trying to get you out the house anyway. Probably. Got you. Cause that she, couch was not it for her. Probably. Got you. She got pregnant as soon as you left. She was already. That might have been the other thing. She had my niece, so that was another thing too. So it was, you was in the way. Probably really was. I was probably in the way. Yeah, got you. Okay, I get it now. You was eating up food and all. Years later, this is it's we're making all sense. making sense now. Got you. I get it. But like, go do what you do. Because I'm like, what kind of advice is that? Because she didn't even give you no advice. She no. just said, go do what you do. <laughs> what kind of shit? Is and that, and telling somebody that means I'm about to do that shit. Yeah. She already know what gets you going. Yeah. Got you. So that was, damn. Now I got to go apologize. Because I ain't paying no rent or nothing. I mm-hmm. To this kinda day. Kind of owe her. To this day. Kind of She old. changed your life. Okay. Now I can tell you the backstory of that later on. Remember to come back to that. Okay. Her, by her changing how you say your life? changing my life. Okay. Because if I wouldn't have went, probably be better off right now. <laughs> no. No. Wow! I see what you just did. You, did. you did see that one? I see what you so just did. You didn't did. see the last one. No, I didn't see the last okay, one. But you got this one. I got my eye open. Got it. Hey, so you get on the bus. Yep. Tell me what happens on the road with one chance. Like, because they say what happens on the road stays on the road. What was staying on the road? Would you? Oh, that's what you want me to talk about? Yeah. Oh. Like right now? Yeah. You want to turn the cameras off? No. Oh, okay. This 85 South, man. This, got you. I got you. This got channel you. 85 right here, baby. It they, is. Let it them is. know. It is. So, they, they here for the day. They, they want the smoke. I'll give you a little smoke. Okay. Uh, They happen to be on the road. I don't even know. You remember the, the Millennium Tour. Or one of them damn tours. I think I, I heard remember. of this tour. The you know Scream know Tour. Yeah. The Scream. That's it. That was the one. Okay. You got it. See, you smart, man. Um, they was on that Scream me. tour, and you know Chris and uh, Chris, 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 you know Chris, Chris Brown kid. Oh, the, 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 that the, the, guy, the, the, the one that be dancing. Got you, yeah, be, yeah him, uh, the Chris Brown kid, uh, and all the rest of them dudes. What up, Pretty Ricky, and all them, right? Um, so they, that's what they were going on the road for to go, uh, you know, open up and perform with those guys. And I mean, the road is crazy, man. Like it's it's a it's a it's a it's a life. It's definitely a lifestyle. I tell you that. I mean, I don't know what else you want me to tell you, cause Pip, if around. you was on T Pain shit right now, you'd I'll, be going in. I wouldn't. Yes, I you wouldn't would. do that. You no, do I that. You'd be, I, that. I, you be doing that. I be telling them. You you be no. You be doing. We will talk about what you was doing. What you seen? You ain't got to say them niggas' names. What I seen? What you seen going? Well, niggas want to know what, what them whole why they call it the Scream Tour. I ain't going to lie. Them niggas was getting hoes, man. Them niggas was getting hoes. I don't know. Some of the niggas that, you, that I'm talking about, I don't know them niggas. But them niggas was getting hoes. There's a whole different lifestyle out there. Different lifestyle. That's definitely a different lifestyle. What, what do you mean when you say different lifestyle? Because I, I only got so, one life. So, right. Um, so it's just like me wanting somebody can't never get them right but out there on the road it's the opposite they want you but they can't get you they can get you no they can get you they can get you, oh, they can get you. And you're just gonna have some fun you know just mm. kicking it drinking a little bit of water just hanging out yeah you know you was on coke out there so you know about my addiction I heard about it. Yeah. I heard about it. But let me tell you something. You, trying to stray you, you hold me. yourself together real good. I do. You hold, you know, Can't nobody really tell for real. Right? Unless you, you know tell them. Unless you tell them. And I didn't tell them. You kind of doing it for me. And, and, and can, can, I, can I tell you something? Because before people niggas start judging you, everybody can't afford Coke, Coke Pip. That if I you think about it. it, if you think of your Pip, you are you got standards. That's you right. have standards. You right. It's niggas out here smoking Newports. That's the worst. 
I hope don't nobody in here smoke no damn you fucking sniff cigarettes. coke. Yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna, you I'm sniffed like, coke. Well, you don't have to say it like that. You can just kind of. I'm just saying that you 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 put some premium stuff inside of your oh, body. Yeah, yeah, because I'm still here. I ain't crazy. I ain't none of that. Nah, this was before fentanyl and all that. You yeah, kept it way together before. I, uh, it was the cleanest shit I ever had in my life. Come on, man. And I got narcolepsy, so really, I'm honestly though, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Honestly, drugs and and they sound crazy, but drugs keep me up. Hey, not you, drugs. I'm not. Let me not do that. Hey, hey, Phil, Phil, you're not addicted to coke. You just used to like the way it smelled. Yeah. I see it. And it's, it's different. Yeah, it smells good right there. Come on, man. You got to respect I try that. to tell the people. You got to respect that. Yeah. People would think that I do drugs. I don't do drugs. You did say, yeah, drugs. I, I you don't do practice. drugs. Nah. I keep it clean, man. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? People are starting to eat clean now. Yeah. You used to goddamn do drugs clean. Yeah. Clean drugs. I get it. No problem. And yeah. honestly, shit, everybody do it. You know? I see what you just did. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I saw what you... Everybody do it on the Scream Tour. <laughs> <laughs> That's now, why they a, call it the Scream Tour. It's a, it's a fun thing, though, man. It's a fun it. thing. It's a fun thing. All them niggas fucked up now. <laughs> you name them. Whoever was on there. Look at their lives now. Damn, that's and it makes sense. Pip didn't shut it. Was he didn't, he, didn't, he didn't brought not, it all together for you. You know what? That was really Them niggas up. was that on was, drugs. That was that was not the way that was supposed to work out. <laughs> hey, Pip, let me tell you something. When people see you doing stupid shit, and it wasn't, and and, and it wasn't because you was on drugs, they think you retarded. <laughs> You're right. So when they find out you was on drugs, like, oh, okay. It's an excuse. It. Yeah, it's good. I get it. I, that nigga was high that day. It, it you got it. You got it. Normally excuse. high. Exactly. Normally there. I can get it. I get it. I get it. So you get off the Scream Tour. Mm -hmm. What's going on in your life now? Um, Walk me through that. Actually, shit, they stayed on the road for a little while. They was working, and then they end up um, getting signed to uh, T-Pain. Really? Yeah. Okay. After Usher, uh, they end up getting signed to T-Pain. And just a long story short. You you had put that deal together? Which one? The T Pain deal? No, I didn't. Okay. I was I was I was just the cameraman at that time. Okay. And um shit, they ended up getting signed to Pain. And then uh after they were signed to Pain, I was working for them for, you know what I'm saying, pro bono. You know, all my cost of living was what it was. Mm -hmm. But then a situation happened to where, you know, we was in Miami, we was living in Miami. Mm -hmm. And then um, uh, Pain, I guess he had called me down for something, and I went down there and did it. Whatever it was, was uh, I think was an initiation, because they was like, well, you know what, we ain't paying you, so here's a job we could probably get you. Mm -hmm. After I found out I basically had got the job of being T-Pain's assistant mm -hmm. without even knowing it. Wow. So I walked in the studio. He asked me to do something. I did it. And he was like, all right, this is me. This is who you're going to be working with. And I looked around. And I was like, what you talking about? And then his manager came and pulled me to the side and was like, yeah, so, you know, I thought you'd be a good fit. Be Payne's assistant. And this is what we're going to pay you. This is what you're going to get. This is where you're going to live. This is what you're going to do. And I was like. This is where you're going to live? Yeah. Wow. I used to live with him in the, in the penthouse. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Up top. <laughs> I was like, Jefferson, boy, I moved up real fast. Come on, boy. man. Shit. Where, where, where was you living before? Was you living on the bus? Yeah, I was living on the bus. With the boys? With the boys. Well, they had an apartment. He had got them a crib. And you and, were just living on the I bus? I was just living, living, just running around. You was out living. in these streets? I was, I was in these streets. How long was you living on the bus? Shh, golly. You got it? No, I didn't hear. Oh, okay. Um, this probably was like three years. You wow, two three. Years. You really put in that work. Yeah. So you know, you know what, because a lot of people they think that this shit easy it's and not easy people come out of nowhere. No. What, what, what I just that's some serious dudes paying right there. Oh, yeah. People look at your life and just think that. 
you know, the motherfucker just gave you shit. But at the, at the end of the day, when you just, you, uh, you talk about that task that you did for T-Pain. At the end of the day, we see what all it costs. Yeah. You worked for that. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't even just about that, 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 uh, that particular task. They saw some. They saw something in you off the rip. You was down. I was, you was trustworthy. Definitely down for sure. So, all right, you're living with T Pain now. Mm-hmm. Walk us through. Walk us through. What what, what is life with T as T Pain assistant? What does that look Bro, like? That's that's rough life. That's a rough life. Um, I was basically. He was making you have sex with girls. Not at all. He was making you eat shrimp and steak and lobster every night. I'm allergic to seafood. Come with something else, man. He was over there having you, making you drive around in his expensive ass cars. And Definitely wish he would let me drive around. You know, to this day, I ain't never drove that nigga car. None of his cars. Ever. Ever. <laughs> to this day. Maybe the Cadillac, but that's, a, that's the Cadillac train. It's American. Yeah, I mean, this nigga had a Bugatti. A you a never drove the Bugatti. I rode in that motherfucker. You was in the passenger side of your best friend's ride. Side. Yeah, I was. And still to this day, won't let me drive no car. Come on. Any boy could be drunk as a dog. Everybody else sober, not driving his car. At all. Don't even think about it. Stop even asking. Don't One day I was almost close. I was close. My boy, I was close. I was I was on 10, mm. ready to go, coming from Magic. Mm. Yes, sir, you're too drunk, my boy. You need to let me drive. Come on, Pip. You know I'm not about to let you drive my car. But anyway, back to the back to the shit with pain. Uh it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's it's definitely a rough life. It's a 24 hour um it's a 24 hour job with him. It was a 24 hour thing. You better and, wake um, your ass up. Gotta wake my ass up. That and you know what? That was the other thing. It was like, how the fuck am I gonna fucking do this shit? Narcolepsy, knocked out, sleep every time. Like that shit, you know, didn't work. But it was also perks that came with the shit too. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. The fuck. Hold on, hold on. You you skip it over some shit. I did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So w- once again, you 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 you're his you're his, his assistant. Mm-hmm. It's a 24 hour drop. Well, meaning like, tell meaning, them what you would have to do. Meaning basically. Walk them through that because they think this shit's easy. Yeah, this not. sound like a dream job. No, nah, put them not. on. I mean, uh, I didn't see I didn't see fifty have assistants before. Yeah, and <laughs> it's not what I thought it was. No, nah, it's not. It's not. It's um. So the whole time, I, even after that, I lived with him mm-hmm. because um, you know, it's certain things that people want and they just they not gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? That's what they pay you for. You are gonna be there to do the shit. I'm talking about getting up in the morning, making sure the nigga get up, make, packing the bags and um, making sure uh, that he in the car at a certain time and uh, making sure a nigga eat, making sure they, everything that you can do yourself, you paying me to do it. You do do for him before. Huh? You do do for T-Pain before. Do do? You took his ass off and you took his not ass to the bathroom. For not. Okay. At all. Okay. And he's a Florida nigga, so y'all, whatever about the Florida niggas. No, he took his own shits. Okay. So. He never just made you just put shit over there. Not at all. Inside he didn't even a, have a to, bag. He and, didn't have to go you, nowhere you, past okay. what I said. Got you. Got all it. Right. So, after that, I mean, it's, it's just a daily life. It's just you do everything. Go get the food. Go, you know what I'm saying, order the food. Go get the food. He ever made you eat the food for him? One time. No, he 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 ever, he ever made you feed him? Nah, nah. He, he he pain ain't never get to no extreme to where you just be like, nigga, I'm not doing that. Yeah, yeah. I made you bourbon or some shit like nah, that. No, no, no. He drink his own liquor. Uh, it, one, he had to burp me one time. Okay, he put you on his shoulders. Shit. He did. He picked my little ass up and was like, nigga, come on, you fucked up, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Can't do that here, man. <laughs> you put it in his face and everything. Nah. Okay. Gotcha. You coming up with shit so they can talk about me later, man, because of my addiction. You need to leave that alone. I got you. All right. 100%. So, Jack. Yes, sir. Um, And it's it's luxury stuff that come with it. I'm, you know I'm, I'm excited saying? about this part. Let's it go. Come with, that come with it as well. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, first of all, it's T-Pain. 
what I'm saying? You hanging out with a superstar every day. Oh, hold on, before um, you go on, let's talk about holidays before you before you go to the good part. Do, do, anytime he didn't want to spend time with his family, did he make you go substitute and be him? No. Okay, go ahead. Let's get so, back to the luxury. <laughs> um, vacations. I mean, I was working on vacation, but yeah. vacations. Um, I think I've been to thirty-five different countries. Um, I mean, all the concerts, any you know, any concert that you can think of. You know, you backstage, you there, you meeting all the celebrities. So I done met everybody. Um, not that they gonna remember me. You okay. know. <laughs> I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But you know another thing was everybody yes, had to sir. call me. Yes, they had sir. to call me. They gotta call you. They gotta call me. So who yeah, this this I, I think I'm I think I'm who who did you meet that you never thought you'd meet? And who you was on the phone with getting some shit ready for him. You like, nigga, I'm over here getting some shit ready for Yeah, you know what I'm asking. Um I'm trying to think if it was uh, uh Who you got starstruck over? Rihanna for sure. Okay. Um, I mean, I mean, I mean, I, did he? I mean, now he'll do that to you. He'll definitely, you know he'll, he'll definitely uh, put you in that. Did he? Uh, and then everybody else, it was just like, it, it was what it was. They were just all, I seen them every day. Okay. So, all right, you getting something ready for pain. Mm -hmm. Somebody called the phone. Who the most, the, the crazy, the famous person called the phone. You were like, nigga, this motherfucking Michael Jackson. Um, let me think. You know what? When that happened, oh, let me think. Let me think. Uh, I don't know. That was more because you got to realize they they not gonna call me. They gonna call him direct. So the person that's gonna call me is their assistant. Gotcha. Guys, two assistants <laughs> on the damn phone. We talking, trying to put some shit together. Assistant, assistant, and that shit was just like. <laughs> but 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 he 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 handled a lot of his stuff on his on his own if his if his manager wasn't doing it you know what I'm saying like if Diddy called he gonna call Payne he ain't gonna call me I'm like man where Payne at yeah I've yeah. had a couple people I can't remember who the fuck called my phone one time mm -hmm. like man where Payne at he, he next to because they always knew I was always right next to him okay so if anybody need to reach him I don't give a fuck who it was they go they gonna inform me you know what I'm saying and mm -hmm. be like hey where that nigga Payne at. They know he re literally right there. And if I say, man, I'm, I'm, I'm out of town, nigga, mm -hmm. you're lying. You're lying. You're lying. Okay. You know you with him. T-Pain is, if you saying that you don't, you don't know what T-Pain at, they know T-Pain blowing them off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. I haven't seen them blow off some people. Before. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not really. They just kind of like. They get it. They get brush it. it under the rug because yeah. I mean, you know, he pain. So yeah, it's like, yeah. like all right, nigga say, nigga, wait till you get off the phone. Like man, bitch ass. Yeah, nigga. yeah. I hit you. And, but it ain't, it ain't your bitch ass nigga. It's T Pain bitch ass yeah. nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I mean, you go a lot of ways different with this. Yeah, I apologize. All right. As long as so yeah, so I've been with Pain for a long time, and and then it just became a friendship. Um, I got fired probably four times. Still was you got fired four times? Yeah, I probably got fired four times. Okay. Um, still was able to be his friend, and then you know, you know, moving fast forward, um, just was just this cool party guy. You know, what I'm saying I know how to hype a room up. I know, you know, what I'm saying what to get, what to get it going. So I've always just been there, ten toes, like we talked about before. And one hundred percent. And then you know the, the Nappy Boy Radio podcast came about, and then he was just like, all right, I see, I see some, I see some, and y'all like you. Let me try you out, and then. You wonderful on that show, bro. Yeah, thank you. Wonderful, and great sidekick. We just, we just been there ever since. Mm. So that's what I got. And then I started becoming an artist. All in between that, mm. and then I'm here today, saying "fuck them kids." Word, word. Yo, Pip, man, I'm really excited to have you on the show today. I'm really glad you came through the New Jacksonville City, man. Thank you, man. I'm, I'm glad to be here to even talk to you, my boy Jack. Now that I got you here, yes, sir. I mean, I'm gonna tell you this again. Yeah, let's go this one more time. Talk to me. Are you gonna do what's going on? A remix of "Fuck Them Kids." Man, man you got damn right. I'm gonna get on that motherfucker, right, man. Wanna make sure the people. I yeah, I'm getting on sure "Fuck Them people, Kids." Hey, I'm, sure I'm all about that. I went and got my tubes tied. That's how bad I want to goddamn be on that song. Good. That's that's. You great, great, Jack. One more thing, Jack. Yes, sir. I got a new song coming out with T Pain and Young Cash. Oh, you want me to get on that too? Oh no. Okay, go ahead. We, we didn't talk about that. Gotcha. That was right, not so rehearsed. Cool. That's about that. 
That's y'all shit. And what's the name of the song? Like that. Like that. Yep. And um, we're gonna be shooting a video, so you can come to that. Now, see that I, you can come to. I can uh, come there. You can, you can, yeah, you can come. You think I could possibly get a cameo? I could, I could, I could, I could, I could talk to the people. Yeah, see, see what they say. I could, I yeah. could do that for you. See what they say. Yeah. Hey, listen, I ain't gonna feel no type of way if I can't get in the video. I'm just saying, I'm yeah. gonna, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna call his assistant, ask. Because you're not the assistant no more. I'm not. Nope. Worked my way out of that. I think I got fired. I think that was the last yeah. thing I got fired on. Gotcha. Yeah. So. You, they, they gave you a severance package? Not at all. Yeah, they, when the money just stopped, no, it just stopped. It just super stopped. Got you. No money right now. Okay. From him. Got gotcha. you. I'm saying I got money. It was just not from him. Got gotcha. you. So that's where I'm at in my life right now, man. I, I'm hey, just, l- last thing. True or false? Fact or fiction? Did you ever lose his jewelry inside a bag on a plane before? See, that story is misconstrued because, like I said, listen, man, if you got your bag with you and it's not with me, how am I responsible for it? Mm -hmm. I did. We was in Africa. I did. Okay. We was in Africa. I get it. You put your bag up there with your laptop and your jewelry and all your shit. I was in the back of the plane, Jack. What you want me to do? I got up, grabbed my stuff, and got off the plane. I said, pain. Where your bag at? And they say, Pip, we thought you had it. I said, what you mean you thought I had it? I, how could you thought I had it? I didn't even know you put it up there. Go back to the fucking, go, the plane's still there. It ain't left. Went back on that plane. Nobody seen that bag. Bag is gone. Yeah, I fucked up. I got fired for that. Mm. Nobody beat your ass? They was def no. Okay. It was definitely pissed. And I felt it. And pain the type of person he gonna he gonna give you that shoulder blade. He ain't gonna tell you you about to get fired. He gonna grip your shoulder. That 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 that, that, uh, that scorpion that, that, death that, lock. That, yeah. And mm-hmm. guess who gonna do it? Security gonna do it. He ain't even gonna do mm-hmm. it. Security coming over to get that grip. Out of here, Bucko. So if you ever around pain and he gripping you, get the fuck away. It's over with. Got you. There it is. Yep. Yeah. Damn, man. Hey, I got so much I want to ask you, man, but I know this is not going to be the um, the, uh, the the first or the last time not you're going to be here. I'm coming back. You're coming back, yes, like sir. the McReal. Yeah, you already know it. Let's get it. Let's get it, man. Hey, man, like I always say, man, fuck them kids. Yes, sir. And it's like that. Man, we got Party Pip in the house, man. Nappy Boy Radio exclusive. I love then it. Then came through. Yes, man, sir. Man, we, we out of here, man. Like I always say, you just can't say you real. It's something you got to be, man. New Jack Willow City. Party Pip. Let's go. Let's take some pictures, man. All right. Come on, man, cuz you Jack Dilla Jack Dilla Jack Dilla And Fable Oh, yeah Oh, what's up? He doing that? 